Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Ryan from Blip Sounds, and today we are going to be recreating Cloud's Cross Slash from Final Fantasy VII Remake. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's dive right in. So anybody that knows Cloud knows that he has his Buster Sword, which is probably made of metal, so I decided to record some metal impact sounds using a knife and a spatula. Then I also recorded some more knife and metal swinging sounds by rubbing two knives together. This is going to give us some variety for our whoosh sounds and for our impact sounds when the sword collides with the enemy. Then I went out and recorded an airplane. Using an airplane allows us to give the feeling of power and explosiveness to the sound. Then I went outside to the patio, turned on a metal grill, and poured some water on it and it makes this really cool evaporating steaming sound, which is gonna be really useful. In the animation, you can see a bunch of fire, and we are going to use this sizzling sound for when this fire disperses. Then lastly, I got a computer duster, just let some air out, and that's gonna be used for our white noise, but I also recorded some additional whooshes using a coat hanger. These will both turn out to be essential sounds, as you'll see later. Now, let's move on to the processing. But before I do, I just want to give a quick shout out to our Twitter. You can follow us at Blip Sounds if you want to check out some more sound design content outside of YouTube. So the first step in the processing for me was adding the metal sounds. This metal ringing sound just seemed to be the most obvious because Cloud has his Buster Sword. These metal impacts are going to be really simple. I'm just going to line it up with the cross slash when it hits. I also added an extra little sound for when the cross slash makes an angle. The only thing I really did to the sound is add an EQ and cut out the 8K range because metal sounds can get piercing to the ear sometimes. Next let's go over the impact sound layered behind the metal sound. This is one of the most important parts of the sound and probably one of the most satisfying parts of the sound. The very first thing that I did is I added some low end using our computer duster. We just match the envelope of our metal impacts, cut out the higher frequencies, add a compressor, and we have lower frequencies on our sound. Next, we're going to be using the water on the hot grill sound, and we're going to boost the 1K range and cut out the lower frequencies a little bit. This 1K range is just a cool frequency spectrum that I like to emphasize for my punch sounds. And you'll hear that the computer duster and the water on the grill really complement each other in the soundscape. Now I want to go over the whooshes, because the whooshes are the most important part of the sound in my opinion, and it really just shows how underrated whooshes can be. This is what it sounds like without the whooshes, And this is what it sounds like once we add the whooshes into the sound. All that I did was I added the computer duster sound and I matched the envelope so that it looks like a whoosh. So it fades in and fades out. And then right before every single hit, I added the hanger whoosh sound. I also decided to layer in those metal swing sounds that I recorded as well. This helps emphasize the fact that it's a sword being swung and it's really satisfying to hear. The very last thing that I added, obviously, is our airplane sound. The airplane sound gives a lot of power and explosiveness, as I said. This explosiveness is mostly going to be used on the tail end of our sound, but nonetheless, it adds a lot of impact and a lot of power to our sound. And that's basically it. I used a lot of the same principles that I shared to create the sound of the sword moving at the beginning and the end of the sound. But ultimately, along with some reverb and a couple touches here and there, that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And leave us a comment letting us know what you learned or what your favorite part of this video was. And be sure to follow us on Twitter. You can find us at Blip Sounds. A link to that is in the description below. And if you're looking for custom sound design for your project, make sure to go to blipsounds.com and drop us a line in the contact form. We'd love to hear from you, even if you just have a simple question. Anyways, thanks for joining everybody, and I'll catch you in the next video.